What's up? This is Alex Chu coming at you with another episode. Uh, this episode, I want to talk about. I think men like pets more than women nowadays. You know, men like pets more than women nowadays. Okay, but before I talk, before I talk about that, I want to tell you, my name is Alex Chu. Uh, I'm the guy who invented physical mortality rings. These are rings that you put on your small fingers during sleep. You wear them, you don't age anymore. You become physically immortal. For example, I'm already 52, okay? See, uh, you can see I'm really skinny. I don't have any beer belly, right? 52-year-old man, look at my belly. No, 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 uh, like leaning fat, nothing like that. If you go to my website, livemuchlonger.com, I have lots of testimonials. Most of them give me four star, five stars. You interested? You want to look like me when you're 52? Livemuchlonger.com, livemuchlonger.com. Link is at the bottom of this video. Also, I'm looking for a distributor for these rings, you know. If you're interested, you know, you can sell my rings on eBay or Amazon or whatever, you know. Whatever those, uh, Shopify, whatever website, right. And I drop ship for you. I ship it for you. You understand? And usually, you know, drop shippers, they earn very little money. Usually the markup is only like 2 or 3%, you know. For example, you sold $100, you only earn like 2 or $3. But if you sell for me, I give you like 40 or 50% markup. Which means if you sell my rings for $30, you, you, you pay me only $15. I'll ship it and you keep $15. You understand? If you're interested, go to my website, livemuchlonger.com, or leave a comment or send me an email, okay? We'll, we'll talk later. But anyway, this is a MGTOW video, obviously, you know. Now I, I realize something. A lot of men, they, they rather, it's like they love their pet more than women nowadays, you know. <clears throat> can you blame them you know like back in the days do you see any women like having s three different kids from three different husbands do you ever see stuff like that back in the days think about it imagine like in the 1960s do you see any women like having three children okay and every one of them every one of them are from from different fathers that's unimaginable right I swear to God, if in nineteen in nineteen hundreds, okay, let's let's say nineteen nineteen twenty or nineteen thirty, fucking you have like if you have like I don't know, it's it's a sh it's like very very shameful. A woman having having kids from different father, that's extremely extremely shameful. You understand? I guarantee you, back in the eighteen hundreds, okay, eighteen hundreds. No, I'm sorry. It's like is that 1800s? Yeah, yeah, 1800s, which is like you know from 1790 or whatever. 1790, okay, those kind of go those kind of era. If you have like kids from three different fathers, fucking you be burned at a stake, man. They'll tie you up to it. They'll tie you up to the wood and they'll burn you alive, man. This is fucking ridiculous, man. But nowadays it's so common. You have like women, you know, who who have like three kids from three different fathers. It's so fucking common nowadays. It's so common. No wonder. I mean, would you marry a woman like that? You know, I this is so funny. I, I was on a I was on a website one day. I was on a website one day. You know those those uh, love uh, I don't know these these uh, hookup website right hookup dating website. And then um, I, there's this woman, okay, anyway, I contact her. And you know what she said? She said, I have, uh, I think she has like three or four children. I forgot how many, but at least three children. And she said, I want kids. Do you want kids? If you don't want kids, don't contact me anymore. I, I emailed her. I said, no, I don't want kids at all, okay? But I think she is crazy. These people are fucking crazy. You have like three or four different kids. And then in her profile, she, she, I think she mentioned she has like different husbands. She has like different kids from different husbands. I think these people are crazy. I mean, these women are just fucking crazy. Two or like you have kids from two different husbands or three different husbands. These women are fucking crazy and they still want kids. They're crazy. They're take. They're taking advantage of the system. I don't know. It's from. 
That's what I see. I'm not a woman. I'm not sure. But I heard that if you have like more children, right, you can like collect more of wel welfare from the government. See, these women are doing it on purpose nowadays, you know. So you got to be careful when you date a woman out there. You got to be very careful, man. I dated a, a, a stripper, right? She told me like she has three kids. I I didn't ask her. Oh, are these three kids are 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 they are they all from a, all from a different husbands? I didn't ask her. But it's like I I had sex with her, right? And then she's like requesting. I don't know. I just cannot ejaculate. Uh, maybe it's because she has like three kids. As you know, her her vagina is sort of loose, right? And uh, I cannot ejaculate. Maybe I have a small penis or something. Listen, hey, you know what? I just can't ejaculate. And she said, why don't you just take off your condom? Just fucking just take it off. Take off your condom. And don't worry. Just just go for it. I say, hell no. I'm not going to pay for your fucking child care. I'm not going to pay for another child's uh, welfare. No way. Because I know what these people are thinking. I know these what, what these women are thinking, you know. They just want to... They doing this on purpose, you know. They they want children on purpose so they can collect your welfare. You understand? And I don't know. Today, I, I I this morning I was thinking about my pet. You know, I was thinking about my dead pets. I have a few dead cats. You know that uh, I don't know. I I raised for at least five years, and I really miss them. The, the cats, they don't do anything. All they do is eat and sleep. But I swear to God, I miss them more than any girl I ever met. I swear to God. All these, come to think of it, all these girls, you know, that I, all these women, strippers, whatever, okay? These women that I met all these, you know, all these years in my life. I'm 52 now, right? So you can imagine. Oh, all these years. I don't know. 30 some years of meeting women, dating, whatever. I don't, I don't think of, I cannot think of one single woman that I miss more than my cats. More than my dead cats, okay? My cats are a lot sweeter than women, I swear to God. My cats, they don't really do anything. All they do is eat and sleep, but I still miss them more than women. And no wonder, I mean, no duh, you know. The, nowadays, women, they just... It's like all they want to do is take advantage of you, you know, and they don't like you anymore. They divorce you like they divorce you just like that. You know, they're not going to give you no, no fucking 30 day notice. Like, hey, listen, you don't do us. You don't you don't met. You don't meet my requirement. I'm going to divorce you. Nowadays, a lot of women, they divorce you. They don't even give you notices. You know, they hire fucking these. Uh, what do you call what, what do you call those people? You know? Uh, what do you call these? I forgot. But you know, they 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 come, they knock on your door. They they fucking they hang out. They they send you the summons. You know, summons of complaint from the court. I don't know what you call these people. They hire these people like that. You know, this they don't give you no note. They don't give you any warning. Somebody knocking on your door. You open the door. Somebody hand you a a divorce paper. You know. It's nowadays, I mean, you 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 marry some women, and that's exactly what you expect. They don't give you no warning, nothing like that. You know, you have children, you have children or child with them, and then uh, all they want is your al alimony. All they, all they want is your alimony. All they want is child, you know, child support. I don't know. It's I feel risk. I feel danger when I if I live with a woman. You understand? Because I know at the end of the day, at the end, that's exactly what I expect. You know. One day I'm going to get a paper for a divorce, right? And they just want to take whatever they can from me. They want to take half my house. They want to take everything I can from me. They risk my life. They risk, you know, the, the welfare of my, my pets. But pets are different. It doesn't matter if you have a dog or a cat, right? At the end of the day, it, it, they, they break your heart because they die, right? Because dogs, you know, they only live like 12, 12 13 years. Cats, same thing, you know? Cats live a little longer than dogs, but at the end of the day, they break your heart because they die. But they don't take fucking half of your house. They don't take your house away. They don't threaten your life. You understand? And, and uh, it's like they don't owe you anything when they when a cat dies or when a dog dies. They don't owe you nothing. They don't owe you anything. Right? You feed them. You, you pet them. You know, you take care of them all these years. 
but they gave you joy and they, they respect you they give you joy and respect right and when they die they, they leave you a good memory they, they leave you a very very sweet and good memory right you don't owe them anything they don't owe you anything because they, they gave you all this good memory they gave you a very good time you know but so but but they are way better than women you know women when they leave you they they tear your heart out okay and then they they want to they want to tear down half of your house if you understand or they want to take your house from you they want to take everything from you and just it just doesn't make any sense i don't know i don't know why anybody want women nowadays you know like especially these these fucking insane crazy men that are willing to date single mothers especially the mothers who have like three different kids from three different fathers are they out of your fucking mind are you out of your fucking mind you want to date a woman like that you know no i i swear it's better if you just get get yourself a cat you know go to the go to the uh, your local shelter and then look at the cats and dogs you know you know you when you raise a dog when you raise a cat you know when they when they finally pass away right they don't owe you anything you don't owe them anything. They they gave you joy, they gave you respect, you know, in, in exchange for your your love and care. Nobody owes no, but nobody nothing when they die, you know. But but when when you uh, when you take in a woman, it's crazy. It's just like all she wants to do is rip rip you off, right? And at when when she leaves you, you you owe her shitload of money. Think about that. It's stupid. And then she doesn't leave you any good memories, you know. Most of the time, most women, when they leave, they don't leave you any good memory. All they leave, it's just like they all they do is teach you a fucking good lesson. They teach you a lesson. All they do is, when a woman leaves you, she teach you a good lesson. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, you got ripped off, you know. Good luck, sucker. Good luck next time. That's That's the memory they gave you, you know. But anyway... Hope you uh, enjoy my video. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.